Hello there, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. This is a video on soul reading. And soul reading is a natural ability that everybody has access to. And it is a level of intuition combined with knowingness. Knowingness comes from our heart center and our feeling of connection all the way to source. When we are in that level of connection, you know what you need to know in the exact moment where you need the information. It comes to you right away, without hesitation, without delay, without anything blocking it. And this is a natural human ability. It has many different names. You could call it the all-knowing state so to say. And it's not that you know everything, but you know exactly what is relevant in the moment. And it is a level outside of the normal physical thinking mind. Because the thinking mind can only go off of what it has seen, what it remembers, and that's very good for school. <laughs> yeah, right, and homework and exams, right? But for trying to read into somebody's spirit, you can't use the normal thinking mind. You need to go into the realm of the imagination. And it's the imagination that is in the realm of the spirit and in the realm of the soul. It is a level higher in vibration than the normal physical thinking mind of just memory. And memory is important, but it is different than the imagination and what the imagination is doing. As you know, when you imagine something, right, your brain cannot tell the difference between what you are imagining and what is in front of you. It looks at it like the same thing. So that's why there's you know, some research out there that says when people imagine healing, they will actually start to heal things. When they imagine happiness, they'll actually start to get a little bit happier. Or a real easy one, when they think about something sexual, they start to get aroused. It's the same type of pathways. It's the same kind of mechanism. So imagination is actually that strong that it can instantly change what's happening in our body and when we are doing soul readings or past life readings that is the level of thought or consciousness that you must be resonating with the realm of imagination it's the realm of imagination that will allow for you to be able to tap in to not just the other person but your own connection to universal knowledge. In order to go into those spaces of being able to do those readings on people, you have to go on your own spiritual quest and your own spiritual journey to the reservoirs or the containers of those information sources of this universal knowledge. This in many I don't even know how to say this. This is, this is something that people call the Akashic Record. That's the simplest way to say it. In New Age traditions, that's what it's called. The Akashic Record is looked at as the record of everything that has happened. And it can be accessed to do readings on people. Now, once you have this Akashic Record access which, this, I mean, I, I have to say, it's very personal how you tap into that. And I, for a long time, was always trying to use my thinking mind to tap into it. I actually had to go into a spiritual quest and, and, and find it. And there's many people out there that read it, and I have just begun doing this. Trust me, I am an, I am an amateur at this. I am very new to this, but I am doing it, and it's working, and it's working very well. But I had to go through my own process of self-growth, spiritual experimentation, and exploration to be able to make that connection with it. Once that connection is made, it's multidimensional language. So you then have to find a way to translate it. And that's a whole other thing. Well, how do you put things that have happened to a soul that are outside of human vernacular, how do you put that into words? How do you even translate that? This is where the spirit guides come in. Some of the most powerful spirit guides that speak multidimensional language that has more letters than 26. These are the guides that then must be worked with. These guides will only work with you at a particular level of mastery within yourself because they're very picky. 
They are very, very picky beings, but they will work with you if you are at that level and they help you to be a translator. So I am giving this video just as a little explanation for people who want to increase their own ability to read DNA or read souls or read past lives or read energies. This is what I have found to be the most useful. It allows for me to go into an instantaneous flow state where I am able to then just read, read what's going on for the person. I just, I just, it's, if it, what's happening to them becomes obvious. That's how I would phrase it. It becomes incredibly obvious and I just am able to speak it. And it is a profound gift and it is something that I had to work for. And as I said, this is, a, this is something anybody can do. Anybody can do this. But what is required is the person does their spiritual homework, which can look like so many different things for so many different people. For me, it involved Taoist Qigong to build up my spiritual senses and my energy body to be able to receive that information and to explore it and to locate it and to then be able to work with my work with my spirit guides and it was the road i took but there's many roads out there but i'm just giving this to you so you can understand that there is a pathway to becoming a better reader of energy and a better translator of energy and it, you don't do it alone and you don't do it with the thinking mind and that is Something I just wanted to speak on because I have found it to be very useful. I've been able to do readings for people and they've been very happy. I've been very happy just doing them. I, I love sharing and I, it's one of my biggest passions. So I do soul readings and I do readings that involve just questions about the galaxies, the universe, the drama, the karma, the storyline of Earth, where Earth is headed. I mean, these are all things that not just me, many people have access to this. These sort of invisible sources, you know, or storylines, right? That like, you know, we all kind of feel, we understand Earth's part of a storyline. We understand we as souls are part of a storyline, but we oftentimes just feel it. And we don't have the words or the imagination to embody it as something we identify with. And this ability is something that can take those concepts and drill that into words. So that way the person hearing the words can download it and put it into the context of their life. So their journey makes more sense and they have greater awareness of who they are and what they're doing. And that is a service and a skill that I offer. It is something I am very new at, but I love it. And it feels good to do. It's given me tremendous clarity in my own path who I am as a being, why I am here on earth, why my life has been the way it's been, what's necessary for my life, what's not necessary for my life, how I can make it better. All of this becomes obvious. It's the answers are out there, but sometimes we just don't have the ears to hear it. And the ears to hear it come with the level of vibrational resonance with the information. So once our consciousness is a match for that information, bam, ears can hear it. And that's what I have spent all my time doing, developing the energy body required to perceive and take in that information. And it's been a fun ride and I love doing it and I will continue to do it and I will get better and better at it and I will learn more along the way and I will help people out. And if you would like a reading, I will help you out. So thank you for tuning in. This is a quick video on DNA and soul reading and the strategies I use to be able to do this for people.